Hi and welcome to this video about uh, mechanical design software which can be used for free, for example, for hobby or educational use. So, uh, first of all, we need to say that uh, mechanical design software is not only CAD or CAD. Because, uh, yes, uh, CAD is computer aided design, but uh, for now, CAD and CAD software are used in most cases for creating geometry and creating uh, drawings. But it's not all uh, process from the design workflow, so uh, most full list it's uh, CAD, CAM, CAE, PDM. Uh, not only design, but manufacturing, engineering, and data management uh, software and process. For example, we can use uh, in this list a lot of uh, abbreviation uh, which uh, contain computer aided. Uh, it's very huge list of uh, types abbreviation and software and some abbreviation without these two letters C and A. For example, uh, RP and uh, RE. Uh, RP is uh, rapid prototyping and RE is uh, reverse engineering. So, uh, mechanical software is huge list of very different software which can be used in very different uh, manner and uh, in very different places and uh, in different process. Okay, uh, second that we need to say it's uh, mechanical design software is uh, very expensive. It can cost uh, thousand, tens of thousand and hundreds of thousand uh, dollars per one seat for one uh, person. But we need to uh, say that it's not overpriced because uh, design software is very difficult to create. It contains a lot of uh, difficult uh, math and uh, programming feature, first of all. And second, uh, it can give uh, to your company uh, a lot of possibilities, uh, a lot of benefits and a lot of uh, possibility to save your money. And uh, results in saving money will be much higher than uh, price of this software. So price of mechanical design software in most cases is justified. It's very huge, but justified and not overpriced. And in this reason we need to explain that uh, there are some possibilities to use uh, this software for free for some uh, purpose and with some limitation. Uh, most of us want to use uh, any type of software without uh, spending money and without limitations. But, uh, as we said previously, it's very difficult to create, so it has some price. And uh, in most cases, even if you buy this software, you will have some limitation. Uh, because you will have not only one type of li license, you will have uh, several type of license with different features, with different uh, tools, and with different price, first of all. Second, uh, there are some limitations even if you will uh, buy the most uh, the, uh, so if you buy a license with uh, maximum cost and maximum price. There are some uh, juridical limitations. For example, you can't uh, do some project for um, some type of countries. Uh, you can't use for some purpose, for example, to create rockets, uh, weapons, and so on. So some limitations will be even for commercial use. But in most cases, if you buy software, you will get one list of features and one uh, type of limitations. If you will not buy this software, but try to use free version, and this software have this uh, free version, you will have some limitation. In most cases, it's features and tools. So you will have not full list of features. Uh, second, it's file formats. Uh, for example, free version uh, can't uh, result of uh, result of works uh, which you do in free version can't be open in uh, paid uh, software. Or you can open this uh, files which you previously created in free version, but uh, you will have 
restriction and stamp that this is uh, this file created in education version, for example. Additional limitation can be in time or number of usage sum uh, features. For example, you can use this software for uh, one week, for 10 or 15 days, for one month, for uh, three months, for one week, uh, sorry, for one year. And uh, sometimes you can um, use this software after this period if you obtain uh, additional software uh, license, but sometimes you will not have possibility to use after this time. Additional limitation can be, for example, in number of saving, uh, file saving. So if you save a file, any file for uh, example 30 times, uh, your software will convert into garbage and you can't use them. And uh, in most cases, free software has a juridical limitation. As we said previously, in most cases, you can't use result of uh, free version. Uh, in uh, commercial project, in uh, commercial tasks, and so on. So, uh, if you try to use software in which type of task, uh, you will try to use it. First of all, you want to try to use it in commercial commercial tasks. It can be uh, creating some product and selling it. It can be for outsourcing and uh, uh, freelancing. Uh, but most uh, free license of paid product can be used in commercial tasks, in any type of commercial tasks, even in commercial education. Uh, if you want to use this software in commercial tasks, you need to uh, pay and you need to buy certain type of license. Uh, only one way to use uh, absolutely free uh, software, uh, software for absolutely free, if this software is free, uh, if this software open source and so on. Mm. Okay, if you want to use commercial software uh, but don't want to pay for that and uh, you are startup company, you can uh, do this in some time. You can uh, uh, fill form on a uh, site of the company and describe your uh, startup, describe your product, describe your uh, economical uh, result. And if uh, this will be enough for obtaining startups, you will get some license for free and you will uh, get possibility to use commercial software for creating and selling this product for one, two or even for three years. But you will not uh, have possibility to use this startup li license for uh, uh, commercial tasks in outsource and freelance. You need to understand that. Okay, uh, additional type of license uh, some product will have for official education process, for high schools, for university, and so on. Uh, so if you are a um, teacher or educator in uh, some university, if you are an administrator, you can uh, buy or get uh, educational license uh, with very huge uh, sales or even for free. Uh, it depends uh, from uh, type of uh, license, from uh, type of product, from company, uh, which product you will want to have in your educational process, and so on. We will talk about this later. And uh, additional type of license is self for self-education. But uh, we need to explain that there are two options. Uh, you can use some software for self-education if you are students, and uh, you can use some software for self-education if you are not student. And that's very important because uh, some company have a license for student, but it can't be used for self-education for persons who are not a uh, student. Sometimes even teachers and educators can't use a, st a student version. But sometimes uh, student version, it's uh, analog 
helpful for teachers, educators, for scientists uh, in uh, universities, and even for hobbyists. So you need to read a license agreement. You need to ask a forms if you are, don't understand limitation of current type of license for current product. And the last type of license is license for hobby. For person who create something not for sale, uh, who don't use this software for uh, commercial different tasks and so on. And it's different from student version. And for some reason, for some product, if you want to uh, learn some product, you need to take hobby license, but not student license if you are not student. Okay, we talk about limitations and different um, type of usage. So let's talk about software. Uh, university, student, hobby, startup, totally free. It's type uh, of license. And this is a list of PAD software, and uh, it's in alphabetical manner. And here we have totally free software, and here we have uh, commercial software. And first of all, we need to say that uh, almost any Autodesk software have a free version for universities and schools and for students. Any type of software from Autodesk, not only Fusion, not only Inventor. It's very huge list. We will not read them all. If you want to see it, please visit uh, Autodesk site and choose free software for students and educators. So uh, it's very important, and it's green plus in university and students. Uh, for now, only one product from Autodesk list have hobby license and startup license. Hobby license have some limitation of features in um, comparison with uh, commercial license, but uh, it's not affect your work. Uh, student and university version doesn't have any limitation uh, in features. They have only limitation in uh, uh, juridical uh, using. It can be used for commercial tasks. Hobby license too. Uh, Fusion have also startup license, and uh, it's very simple to obtain a startup license for the first year. Uh, and we need to say that the Fusion price is very low. It costs about uh, 500 bucks uh, in US. In different country, it can cost even less. So it's a very cool software which have not only CAD, but uh, CAM, CAE, and even PDM uh, features and possibilities. Try it, and uh, you can try it with Hobby License. If you uh, like it, you can buy it. Okay, uh, the Soul System SolidWorks. It's very cool software, uh, but there are no possibility to obtain uh, this software for free as Autodesk software for university in general. There are some um, sales where, when some university can uh, get uh, SOLIDWORKS almost for free, but it uh, has their own cost. Uh, price for education uh, license are very low in comparison with commercial license, but it needs some money. A uh, student version in some regions, for example, in the US, Canada, in some European uh, countries, you can buy a student version for 100 bucks if you are a student. Uh, and uh, in this region, uh, you can buy a hobby license uh, for 100 bucks. Uh, sometimes for some people group, uh, they can obtain a hobby license for free. And students which uh, learn SOLIDWORKS in universities which uh, have uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, with active license and active uh, tech support, they can uh, get their own uh, li license for free from uh, university administrators. 
Additionally, we need to say that SolidWorks have startup um, uh, type of license, and uh, it's not very difficult to obtain it if you are a startup which creates some useful product. I helped some person to obtain this uh, startups uh, by filling form, by consulting and filling form, and so on. So uh, we need to talk about all other software. Siemens Annex uh, has uh, big sales for university uh, universities. Have free uh, student version. It's uh, about several years ago. It doesn't have, but now it have. And uh, you need to understand that if you look this, if you watch this video uh, after some time, for example. It have a lot of limitation in uh, features and I don't like this limitation. So check it if you want, but you need to understand that uh, there are only two types of license for hobby and for uh, paid without, uh, almost without limitation. Uh, it can be used for hobby, for students, but it doesn't have um, other type as hobby, only hobby. So if you use it for self-education, you can use it. And we have only two uh, CAD software, which is totally free. It's FreeCAD and uh, Open CAD uh, CAD Builder. It's very interesting software, uh, especially FreeCAD, because it has a lot of different uh, models and a lot of features. Uh, but uh, in comparison with commercial software, it's not so user-friendly. So it's totally free and in most cases, it's the only one plus and only one benefit in the uh, whole list. CAM. Uh, there are a lot of uh, CAM software, but uh, in this list present only software which have uh, not very difficult installation and uh, powerful in features. Uh, and tools possibilities because a lot of CAM software uh, only 
can work with 2D, and uh, that's a huge limitation. Uh, so all software from the list work with 3D and uh, can work with uh, some CNC machine uh, which have even more than three axes. Uh, Autodesk Fusion 360, we talk about them, and uh, in Hobby License you can work with uh, CAM uh, environment. It has some limitation, but uh, I think uh, they will be enough, all features uh, that you will have uh, will be enough for your Hobby uh, works and ideas. Uh, Autodesk Inventor uh, Cam and Feature Cam have a license for universities and students, and that's all. Uh, SolidWorks have a Cam license in those way uh, as we talked previously, so we will don't stop at it with this software. Siemens Annex uh, doesn't have hobby plan, but uh, students can use uh, CAM software. Uh, Solid Age, in different with NX and in different with Fusion 360, Siemens Solid Age uh, in student version and in hobby version of license uh, haven't uh, CAM features. So you can't use uh, CAM model uh, in Solid Age. Uh, but for startup, it's not a problem. Startup can use uh, CAM model as well as commercial. PTC Creo, also, students will have uh, some access to some uh, CAM features, but with limitation. Uh, hobby, there are no hobby license, so we will not talk about them. And uh, in addition for FreeCAD, which have a CAM environment, uh, we have two uh, different uh, product. It's free meal and Hicks uh, Geeks CNC. Uh, it's totally free, so you can use them without any limitation. CAE software. Uh, we have here um, bigger list, and we have bigger list in uh, commercial software and even in free software. We need to say that uh, CAE software uh, have lot of open source projects, leaps, and uh, even uh, full product, but we need to understand that most uh, open source uh, CAE software it, uh, it's not very user-friendly and it needs uh, dances if you want to install them. For example, you need to compile uh, all sources into your product. So, uh, we uh, Very big experience and uh, work with general software which I look like commercial and so on. So, uh, most of uh, CAD, uh, CAE software uh, can be used for startup license, even if uh, we see here a question and uh, minus, we can write a letter for. Uh, vendors or for their uh, distributors and uh, or, or reseller partners and uh, in sometimes they have a uh, possibility to help with uh, your startup uh, company but uh, in most case plus and minus uh, depend on does you have simple uh, procedure to have start, uh, to obtain startup license okay uh, I'll tell you Hyperworks, Hypermesh, Radius, and some other product. Uh, they have paid uh, version for university with big sales. They have free version for students and free version for, for startups. ANSYS has uh, some several type of license for universities. They all paid uh, and they give different uh, possibilities and have different limitation in uh, juridical uh, uh, questions. Uh, for example, some software give you possibility to teach your student, but doesn't give possibility to uh, create uh, research for some grants and uh, non-commercial, even, even non-commercial projects. 
uh, and some uh, license will give you a possibility to create those research projects. If you want uh, details, please write to ANSYS partners. Uh, but for students, they have uh, poly functional version of ANSYS uh, with some limitation in size of uh, task. But I can say that uh, 20 years ago, we have uh, a computer which can't solve uh, those tasks uh, because they was very, very, very slow and very small in possibilities. So uh, current limitation for students, it's not very limitation if you want to study the software. Uh, Autodesk Fusion have uh, CAE's uh, environment for students and for universities, but doesn't have uh, for hobbies. Hobby license doesn't have, doesn't will give you access to CAE software. Uh, Autodesk Inventor, Inventor Nostrans, and Autodesk CFD also have uh, possibilities to work uh, with universities and students, but doesn't have hobby and startup plan. Uh, SOLIDWORKS have CAE model, but uh, in general, all information we already say, Abacus have a uh, student version with big limitation in size of task, but uh, it's well enough for educational process. Uh, for university, it has uh, a version with uh, big sales. MSC company have a lot of product and all those products can be used by university and students and by students, it can be used for free. Siemens, Femap, Siemens, Enix and Siemens SolidH. Uh, have a version and a license for university. You can buy it with uh, big sales. Have free version for uh, students. And uh, Siemens Femap and Siemens NX doesn't have hobby plan, but Siemens SolidH uh, in hobby plan have uh, possibilities to work with uh, CAE. So you can do stress analysis and so on. Uh, also, we need to say that Siemens Femap and SolidH have startup type of license. Uh, cloud software, SimScale, doesn't have li license for university, as I know, have a uh, license for student and hobby. It has some limitation, but it's not very important. Uh, you will have very huge possibilities. And uh, as I know, it doesn't have startup license, so something like that. PTC Crea, uh, CAE model can be bought by university. Uh, can be obtained by it, so uh, startup, but uh, not present in uh, st student version and doesn't have hobby plan. And for uh, totally free open source products, we have free CAD. We already talked about them. Prepo Max, uh, it's a product with calculus in um, background, uh, but it's more user friendly than calculus. Uh, Salomeca, it's a uh, very powerful software which uh, can be uh, analog as ANSYS APDL, DASO uh, Abacus, MSC Patran with Nastran, Siemens FEMA. But uh, it's not so user friendly, but it's very powerful. And uh, Z88 Aurora, it's also very interesting uh, free software uh, which have uh, not very complex uh, user interface, but can uh, solve uh, interesting software, not only in solid and shell formulation, like Prepo Max, for example, but in uh, beam formulation too. So uh, here we have the list of CAD software. Here we have a list of additional CAM software. Here we have a list of additional CAE software. It will be in the description, uh, have publication with all these uh, links, so you can use them, but it will um, be later. And only one PDM uh, product that I know uh, for free, it's uh, ARS, 
but it's very strange and very difficult uh, as all PDM product. So something like that. Please write a comment. Does this video was helpful for you? And uh, any question if you have. Uh, see you later.